Hi everyone, it's Sorkin. Today we have a problem when we are given an array nums. What we need to do, we need to implement num array class with the, with the integer array nums. And also we need to implement a method or function sum range where we are given a left and right indexes in the array and we need to return sum. So for example, let's say that uh, this is our array and we are given we are given indexes index left being zero index right being two so the num sum of the numbers between index zero and the two is equals to one here right and the next one is two five so from two to five the sum is equals to minus three and the from zero to five which means that the whole array the sum is equals to minus three Let's take this example and work on it. So we are gonna solve this problem using a segment tree. What's a segment tree? Segment tree, so in our case, we are building a binary tree where the root of our binary tree is the sum of the all elements. So for example, in this case, from zero to five, right? It's a sum of the all elements. Right, uh, left subchild is the sum of the elements from, from zero to two, and the right subchild is the sum of the elements from three to five. And for this one, right, for nine, the left subchild is the sum of the elements from zero to one and the right subchild from two to two. At the bottom of our segment tree, we have the all our initial elements from num, from nums array. So for example, one is the zero, zero, like a first element, right? Zero, zero, zero index of our array. The next one is one, one to one, which is the first element of our index and so on. And so what we do, we are recursively building up our tree, building up our segment tree, which we are storing in a segment tree array, which is the size of our initial array multiplied by four to accommodate all the, all the nodes of our binary tree, of our segment tree. So what about our query query function, right? Our Let's say that the, in our query function, we want to find the, we want to find the sum of from from index zero to index two so what we do here we are doing exactly the same but in reverse so we are starting again from the from the top when we are building up our tree we are starting from the bottom right so and we are building up our tree and when we are querying we are starting up from from the top and so we are looking for the for for our value from zero to two for the zero from zero to two right we are looking from we are looking at the left side of our tree and right, so right side of our tree. So we are looking from zero to two, which is the value, which is our value, right? Nine plus from three to five, from three to five, it is what? It is, it's more than our, it's outside of our, our of our index boundaries, right? We are returning zero. So we are returning for our, this case, we are returning sum of nine, which is, we are we are returning as our result what's the time complexity of this solution the time complexity of this solution overall is log of n first thing that we do here we are creating two variables nums and the segment tree nums where we are setting our initial our initial array and the segment tree where we are storing the values of our segment tree. So we are initializing them and the size of the segment tree is the four times of our initial array in order to accommodate all of our values in our binary tree or in our segment tree. So then the next step is we are recursively, we are calling a build segment tree function or method which recursively build us our segment tree. So what we do in our build segment tree function. So the first thing, let's take our example, right, that we have seen earlier. So if our start equals to our end, it means that we are uh, we are at the bottom of our, so we recursively called and we are at the last element. So it's our, it's our values of our initial array. So we are just setting it to our current index, our values. And the next, the next step is that uh, what we do here. So we are picking a mid element. We are picking a mid element and we are defining the indexes of our 
left child we are defining left child index and right child index so for example in our case let's say for the for the first one right for the zero for the zero the value of the left child index is one and the value of the right child index is two and the value for them from the zero from index zero to two is nine and the, from the index three to five is 27. so then that we are recursively calling uh, build segment tree uh, method and for the for the left side of this tree and for the right side of the tree once we are at this position right once we are here so what what it means it means that the, we built all other nodes and the, now we are building the last node of our tree so for the segment tree with the with the index zero it's it is what it's the sum of the segment tree with the index one right and the segment tree with the index two so we are adding nine plus 27 which is the our value right which is the our value from zero to five 36. so the another method is that we have here the our sum range function right in our sum range function we are we are we we, we are passing here left and the right index that we need to find the sum so here we are calling a function query where we are passing our left and right also we are passing we are starting from the top of our tree right so that's why we are passing the first index we are start we are passing our uh, we are passing our first index and we are passing our last index in order to search in 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 whole tree so in our query function what we do we are starting from the beginning and uh, so for example let's take again let's take the scenario when we have that we have seen earlier right when the indexes when the left index is zero and the right index is, is two so what we do here if the so we since we are starting from the from the beginning of the tree so we are looking so here right let's let's start from here so we are looking for mid mid is equals to two so which means that the, we are looking and we are defining the we are defining the uh, left left ch child index and right child index they are equals to one and two and we are what what we need to do we are finding our left sum and we are finding our right sum our left sum is from the index zero and the two as we have seen in the previous example that will return us that will return us nine right so this base condition this base condition will return us nine in our case and the, the next one is from three to five if our start is more than our right or our left is uh, our left is more than our end which means that the, we are outside of the so that we are outside of the index boundary so we should return zero in this case and the, for this one we are returning if the our if our start is um, more than or equal to our left or our right is more than equal to our end um, then in that case we are returning the whatever whatever the index is there so for example in our case we are returning the value of 0 and 2 which is 9 and at the end we are just uh, so we are calling these functions query function recursively and at the end we are just returning whatever the whatever the left sum and the right sum we we, we get so for example in this case the left sum we are getting 9 for for the 0 and 2 right and the uh, for the for the right sum we are getting zero and the sum of the nine and zero we are returning we are returning uh, nine so what's the time and space complexity of this solution the time complexity is there are two, two, two time complexities the first one is for constructing for building a segment tree for that the time complexity is uh, of n but for the sum query the time complexity is log of n so we are taking the the time complexity of our sum range and for the space complexity we are using two data structures in both of these cases the space complexity is n uh, in this case is a four four n but the, we are we are disregarding the constant part okay uh that's it for today hope you like my content if you like it please hit the like button and subscribe my channel see you next time bye